back here at the property. And uh, when I was watching the last video back, I noticed that um, down here on the ground with my foundation, and I've got untreated uh, two by eights for my rim joist, and they're right on the ground. So I gotta fix that. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, remove a couple of these uh, rim joists and see if I can't lower uh, the ground right there. And I also uh, picked up some uh, treated two by eights that I'm gonna replace these with. And I'll use these um, on the floor joists, but for uh, the rim joists, I'm gonna remove all of these and replace them with uh, treated two by eights. So let me get to that. All right, I got uh, enough dirt moved away, so there's plenty of daylight underneath all of my rim joists. I still need to clean up, you know, some of these piles around here, but I can do that anytime. So I'm gonna replace that guy with uh, treated. In fact, I'm gonna replace all of the rim joists with treated, and I'll just use the untreated ones. You know somewhere in the middle there where there's no danger and then I'm gonna paint them with uh, the copper coat anyway but uh, I'm gonna put the pressure treated around so right now I'm gonna put a uh, 
I'm going to attach a block that I can use to pull the board in uh, using clamps. And uh, it'll make sense when you see me do it. Okay, that's nice and tight. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Thank you. 
Alright, I've got all of my rim joists replaced. Um, they're all uh, treated now. So what I'm going to do is swap out those 2x4s for, uh, with two of the uh, untreated 2x8s that I pulled off. But I want to mark inside uh, the 6x6 posts and I'll explain that in a minute. So what I'm going to do on all of my floor joists is I'm going to place one by two on the bottom on either side and then that'll give me a shelf that I can put plywood up against that'll seal the bottom. And I'm going to do that on all of the joists uh, and I want to do that before on these two that go on the 6x6. Six six. I need to get those secured before I install them because uh, there won't be room for me to get my nail gun up in there. So I'm gonna measure it out so I know how long to cut the one by two. All right, I've got my one by two cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and treat it with the uh, copper coat and then I'll get it installed. All right, so here you can see I got all those uh, untreated rim joists removed and replaced with pressure treated rim joists. Those are all in. You can see over here that uh, I was able to dig out underneath the joists and uh, underneath the floor. So when I put the other floor joists in, uh, there won't be any, any problem there either. 
And uh, these are the first, I took the uh, two before out and replaced it with these two by eights that were, they were once rim joists. And they've been treated with clear copper coat. And you can see where I've got those, uh, those uh, one by twos attached at the bottom. And those are gonna hold up a sheet of, uh, of plywood to keep the rodents out. And then I'll have my uh, insulation on top of that. That should make it about six inches. I'll put six inches of insulation in. I'm gonna do that all the way across with all the other floor joists. But uh, this is as far as I've got in this, this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Just step back a little bit, give you another look. All right, there she is. Talk to you guys later.